ALS, some cancers, and a multitude of other diseases, including dementia, Alzheimer's, and a laundry list. Of, all of them have a few things in common. Starting off, they're all deadly. Two, they're all de degenerative. And three, they all have no cure. It is a quote from Jason Erber. There is no more profoundly personal decision nor one which is closer to the heart of personal liberty. What I'm going to be talking about is physician-assisted suicide. The death, the right to die, basically. The right to choose the time of a person's own death. I believe firmly that if you are only left suffering through cancer, ALS, or some other disease that has no cure and will only cause you pain for whatever is left of your life, that you should have the right to choose not to go through that pain and force your family members and friends to watch you do so. It should be up to you, your decision entirely. A quote from Dranstar Castelli. Several countries, including the United States, the states of Oregon, Washington, California, Montana, Colorado, New York, and Vermont have all, or, excuse me, New Jersey and Vermont have all legalized assisted suicide in one form or another, as well as the countries of uh, Belgium, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, and Switzerland, albeit all under different conditions. I, uh, I think that I personally would definitely want to be allowed choose the time of my own death, and I think that, given the opportunity, many people would agree with me. So the first thing that I would like to address is a problem which many people brought up during my, uh, during the survey that I asked the class about, which was that they have, that they didn't understand who would be eligible for this. They didn't understand that it is not for those who simply don't want to live or are depressed. Those will not be allowed to have access to this. Those people need help from therapy and other sources, not suicide. This is only for the people who have no other option and are simply suffering. The two groups that I would allow personally are the suffering and dying and those prisoners who are in for life sentences with no hope of release. Those two groups I think should be allowed to choose whether or not they wish to continue with whatever they are doing or die with dignity. A quote from Mark Cherry, when a competent patient does want to die, the moral situation is obviously different because then it makes no sense for the patient's right not to be killed as a reason why an act designed to cause his death is impermissible. I don't see why that a person should not have the right to choose whether or not they want to die, when and where, given the circumstances, that is. The second thing that I would like to address is the multitude of regulations and difficult lawmaking that would go into implementing anything like this. It would be an extremely long and arduous process. We could, of course, base it off of the now invisible states that I pointed to earlier, but that would be difficult and I think extremely impossible on a national scale. I would now like to end second now, a quote from Mara Bookbinder. Having the option of Oregon's Death with Dignity Act provides important psychological benefits for the terminally ill, autonomy, control, and choice. In her article, she also talks about how most of these patients who were given that option did not choose to actually go through with it, at least not until it appeared that there was no other option. Many of them decided to tough it out anyway, but it provided them psychological benefits to even have the option whether they chose to use it or not. So continuing with the implement implementation part, People who are medically suffering and with life sentences, a quote from David Shaw, some prisoners seek assisted suicide for medical reasons and others because they regard spending the rest of their lives in prisons as undignified. 
it should be well within their rights for both groups to make that decision. So those are the two groups, again, that I would allow to make that decision. As long as they make the cognizant choice of their own, or one other way that is often done is they sign a medical order if they, for example, if you, ha if you know that ALS or some other degenerative disease runs in your family that may incapacitate you at some point from making the decision on your own, you sign a medical order while you are still cognizant enough to do so, and then in the event that you are dying and suffering, they are allowed to assist you in death. Uh, so some, a quote from uh, a person whom I have lost now. <laughs> Uh, in conclusion, assisted su physician assisted suicide should be legal as it brings mercy to those who need it and should be well within the rights of all Americans. As you should have the right to choose what to do with your life, your liberty, and how to pursue your own happiness. Thank you for listening to my speech.